the monster you think is a myth, was real. It wasn't a dragon breathing fire. It was something far, far worse. Picture this, ancient Australia. A lone giant wombat, a diprotodon, grazes peacefully. Suddenly, the trees rustle. A shadow moves with blinding speed. It's not a mammal. It's not a dinosaur. It's a lizard. But this is no ordinary lizard. Meet Megalania, a 15-foot-long, 1,000-pound monitor lizard. A walking nightmare. Its skin is like chainmail. Its claws are like steel hooks. And its mouth, its mouth is a biological weapon. A single bite injects a cocktail of venom that stops blood from clotting. The victim doesn't die from the attack. It bleeds out slowly, relentlessly. Megalinia wasn't a brute force killer. It was a patient assassin. It would bite its prey, then retreat. It would follow for hours, even days, just waiting. Watching as its victim grew weaker, stumbling, collapsing from blood loss. Then, and only then, would the feast begin. Early humans arrived in Australia around 65,000 years ago. They didn't find an empty paradise. They found a land ruled by this apex predator. Imagine trying to survive when the shadows themselves could kill you. Every rustle in the bush, every flicker of movement, could be the last thing you ever see. They would have found the bones. Huge skeletons of animals, far larger than anything they'd seen, and among them, giant reptilian skulls with teeth like daggers. These weren't just stories, they were warnings, passed down through generations. The tale of the giant killer lizard evolved. It grew wings, it breathed fire, the legend of the dragon was born. But here's the terrifying part. Megalania never truly went extinct, it just got smaller. Its direct descendant is still alive today. It's called the Komodo dragon. Every dragon myth you've ever heard started with a real-life monster, and its bloodline still walks the earth. The only thing that changed was its size. For now, 